Yo, 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 this your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. I have the beautiful White Gold here with us today, and the Geeky Cast dropped another video, all right? And this talks about uh, the Kang Wars, Loki Season 2, Kang Dynasty, and some other things. And we're gonna go ahead and react to this and check out the new info, all right? We did do another reaction to his last video. Uh, talking about some things from D23, um, kind of getting some multiversal saga things in, in order, kind of straight for some people. So I'm really excited to see what news that he has for us today. And I have White Gold with us today, so she's going to be here and we're going to react to it and see what we get. All right. So again, this is uh, the Geeky Cast. If you guys are not following him, he's not a leaker, not a scooper. He's just a reporter drops the news and you can take it with a grain of salt but just make sure you know if you did see it you saw it from him first okay so uh before we get into this make sure that you guys are leaving the thumbs up make sure you guys are leaving a like if you're new here to the channel make sure that you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell that way when we do a video just like this you all will get it first okay so again this is the geeky cast new video on king wars king dynasty and Loki season two, all right. I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we'll be back. Snoopers Gonna Snoop, Snoopers Gonna Snoop, Snoopers Gonna Snoop, it's not your bitch. What's going on, everybody? Beretti here with another Geeky Cast video, and I have been so requested over and over and over again fire. to do Ant Man Quantum Mania details, information, and new regards about the trailer. So, okay. we're going to get into it with some information that I have gotten today. So, notes on the side over there. I don't know why I always point it's over there. <laughs> and uh, let's get into it. Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania writer Jeff Loveness will write Avengers The Kang Dynasty, and that's the source by Deadline. And I think that's pretty obvious that we should all be aware of that because they did say that ant-man quantum mania is leading directly to kang into dynasty. kang dynasty and it's a continuation it's essentially you know ant-man 3.5 and it's also a continuation of many many other films with that being said thank you for the information deadline next star tom hiddleston mentioned that he recognized the face from loki season one with the actress playing sylphie sophia d martino remembering how her character killed him the lead hiddleston then went on to wish ant-man 3 stars paul rudd and eva angel lily in facing him with luck what? hiddleston i also saw from backstage the quantum manium footage and i recognized one of the faces in it d martino said yeah me too i thought i killed that dude Hiddleston then goes to say, I think maybe a variant of that guy, potentially, that I know anyway. So I just want to say to Paul Evangeline, good luck with that. Just don't let him into the TVA. Now we know in Loki season two that he's going through all this different TVA stuff, going through how essentially he Who got is it? the time travel essence into a different TVA. Also, we're, we could possibly be thinking at that point that maybe that is Kang's overall goal. And maybe that's mm. what Ant-Man actually has to do a heist for. Then, mm. when asked if the events of Loki Season 2 will start immediately at that cliffhanger, Hiddleston went on and played coy, instead teasing that there's a whole bunch of questions that need answers. Pretty much went on to say, Loki's been put into a new TVA. Do we start right there? I guess this is the first question. Hiddleston went on to say, Season 1 finishes with Loki arriving back in the TVA after the very distressing confrontation with Sylvie. He has a whole bunch of questions that need answers. The pair's comments were actually similar. Wow, English. Similar <laughs> to what they shared during Marvel Studios D23 panel, with Wilson confirming that season two will ultimately answer how Loki and the rest of the gang ended up in this brand new TVA. Wilson went on to say, It's a little bit like that talking head song. This is not my beautiful life. How did I get here? Hiddleston mm. went on to say, how did I get here? And then Wilson came back with, and everybody asked that question at one time or another. In season two, we're going to answer, how did I get here? Yes. So essentially, they are working hmm. the whole so plan. Get how did Loki answers. get there? How yeah. did he get time I traveled to a different yeah. part of time? Get another and different time more than likely, that is Kang that we're seeing the statue of. It could not be Kang, or it could just be Nathaniel Richards, because they were saying that we're going to get a lot of hints at the name Nathaniel Damn. Richards. So he could possibly be somebody completely different. Obviously, Damn, what if it isn't Kang and it's he's the Thanos? Original Kang. But he could be like the main all know it all Kang Prime in this show, and Kang the Conqueror could be in Loki. 
So hmm. with the trailer for Ant-Man 3, I don't know which one essentially what we learned is Kang needs Scott to steal something for him or someone that has been stolen from him. So essentially he's giving him a uh, ultimatum. Either you get back what I had stolen or I'm going to keep Cassie and you're never going to see him again. Yikes. When Scott then decides, no, I'm not going to help you, Kang goes and beats him up, essentially putting his head against the wall and bashing him down. Obviously, Yay. Scott's that might be what we yes, have that picture, the Ant-Man you know. helmet that's cracked. Um, yeah. Now, who could it be or what could it be? It could be Rim, uh, Rinslayer. I don't know why I said Rimslayer. Rinslayer. Uh, who Ooh, we saw if it was Red Slayer. One, she actually said, I'm going to find out how this ends or to the people or whatever. I she forgot said, about her because she dipped off in Loki season one. Now, I don't think she's the person. And also, I was wondering, okay, why does Kang need help? He can go to the past, present, or future. He can go back in time and stop his item from being stolen. Maybe Facts. he's stuck in the why quantum realm. Maybe Modok has him, something, yeah. parts of his parts that he thought, hey, you know, we could be teammates, you could be my lackey, and then he ended up betraying Kang. I think Mo maybe we uh, find that Modok out is going to be like the molecule. Also, man we could situation. say maybe it's another variant. Maybe he who remains, who was killed, somehow something when he died was was given up and. You know, essentially, he needs to find Sylvie. We don't know because we do know that Loki's also going to be tying in all of Marvel Phase 4, 5, and 6, the multiversal saga. Next, there's one thing that's been said, and this is something I heard in War Stu's video today, and I've heard this from a couple other War people. Stu. Cameos. Your boy, War Stu. Now, everybody was so upset He's at D23. Boy. Why did we not get the Fantastic Four cast? We got the director. Why don't we have the cast? It's been two years. The movie is two years away. What is going on? Well, once again, have you ever thought that, you know, those post credit scenes that we were talking about saying that they're going to come in the quantum realm, their ship's going to pretty much appear out of a portal? What better way would it be to introduce the Fantastic Four than that way? Think about it this way. In Ant-Man. Hercules, introduced at the end of Love and Thunder. Facts. Eros, introduced at the end of Eternals. Facts. Uh, you know, we've had Thanos teased at the end of Avengers 1. We had the twins teased. I believe it was after Winter Soldier, or it could have been Civil. I can't remember which one. But constant Facts. new characters are teased through that, and it would be a better way to have the announcement. It would make you go see the film, and then it'd be the big, 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 big talk about. That's facts. Obviously, with that being said, I think it's a better alternative than to announce the cast and them to come on the stage. Yeah, that's, that's just too weird. basic, and yeah. that's too common for now Marvel. Now you say I that, I agree. Wants to pull yeah, I agree. One thousand percent. Some tricks out of his book of Marvel. And that's all I really have to say for this video. Let me know what y'all thought. Did you guys see the Modoc stuff that came out recently? And also, have you seen those Kang photos that are going around that have been bunked out to be fake? Fakers. There are a couple other Kang photos that I've seen recently that obviously got to dive into these, got to show a couple people, find out some more information. But with that, I hope you all have a great rest of your night, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, you guys. So welcome back. That was the Geeky Cast talking about... Uh, Loki season two. From what I've heard about the Loki season, um, I've heard also that he might be in a different TVA than what we think. But I've also heard that uh, Throg is supposed to be in Loki season two, which if you saw, there was a clip in season one of the Frog Thor in the underground in a jar. I think that he is supposed to break or help Throg break the spell so he turns back into regular Thor hmm. in that series. And then I also have heard that um, Loki is supposed to, or that specific Loki is supposed to end up back in the 616 universe after season two. So I thought that was interesting to, uh, to hear. Um, and there have been a lot of Kang fake leaks i've seen them on twitter he's right makes you guys are watching now the only thing that i've seen was like a sideways video of the uh san diego comic-con <laughs> quantum manium thing and the only clip that i've seen is like the blue helmet that kang was wearing and when me and dizzy seen it me and dizzy looked e each other in the eye and was like mm -hmm. that's crazy like like to get a comic book accurate like that and make it look good it just and like he said, Ant-Man, I told Dizzy a long time ago that Ant-Man was going to change the MCU because of uh, what Kang is going to bring to the table. I think that Kang is going to start his foundation there 
with what is to come. I think phase four was doing a lot of building of characters and other things like that to set up for movies and things that we have going on in phase five. Um, and I think that um, you all will get a chance to see that once we get to phase five. I know a lot of people um, are impatient and they want to microwave it, but yeah. um, it takes that to make things feel a lot better. Um, and like he said, there might you might get a Fantastic Four post credit scene uh, for Ant Man and them showing up, you know, in their ship, uh, and that would be a good way to, you know, I guess unveil them that way. Uh, but who knows? I've heard post credit scenes of Kang the, uh, of the uh, Ant Man where Pym gets zapped into the Kang Council, where he's hearing all these different voices of Kang. Um, I really don't know what. Kang is trying to get Ant-Man to help him find. Renslayer was a good idea because I really forgot about Renslayer. Renslayer basically set off uh, to go do her own thing, which we really, and nobody has really covered. Um, nobody really has ever covered what possibly could Renslayer be doing when it comes to Loki season two. They really just co uh, covered the fact that when Loki was in a different TVA and he saw the, the Kang statue, you know, it kind of just showed you how quick, yeah. how big and how powerful that Kang the Conqueror really is. Um, and who knows, you know, maybe maybe we don't get a Molecule Man and maybe MODOK ends up being the Molecule Man of the MCU. Maybe MODOK ends up stealing something from Kang or who knows? I really honestly don't know until I see the film because right now we're in a position yeah. at the end of phase four where we're about to bridge our gap into phase five. Also getting some new characters, new movies, new things like that, things that are going to set up. Uh, to finish off or you know accumulate these things for you know Fantastic Four and Phase Six, uh, because I think Phase Seven, Eight, Nine are probably going to be um, X Men oriented. I don't know what stories they're going to tell. Dark Phoenix or like, are they going to split the teams up and have you know the Cyclops Blue Team and the Storm Gold Team or you know whatever they're going to do. You know I don't know how far it's going to go um, with Secret Wars. Because right now we pretty much have a huge phase five slate. But as far as phase six, I think there was only three movies that we had got. And Thunderbolts is supposed to end phase five and bridge. So Thunder, like where we're at right now with Black Panther is where we'll be at with the Thunderbolts, you know, going into that phase six and about to approach, mm -hmm. you know, Fantastic Four. You might get some, I don't know, Galactus or Silver Surfer stuff in there. I don't know. I'll, they probably say that for the cosmic side of Mm -hmm. Phase seven or eight or nine. I don't know what, you know, that. 42. Yeah, I don't know what that, you know. And then, you know, his last video, he talked about King Thanos. And I was reading also, you know, if we get King Thanos, you yeah. know, it made me think about Cosmic Ghost Rider. You know what? Okay. Yeah. Maybe we get Cosmic Ghost Rider in Secret Wars and or Death. something like that. Maybe we, yeah, maybe Lady Death finally shows her face because they totally took her out of the equation, which I think that would have been so funny to have, uh, I forget Josh Brolin play Thanos and then have Ryan Reynolds Deadpool fighting in a sense over Lady Death and having that depicted on through the MCU. Who knows? We still might be able to get it or something. I don't know, but I think that would be comedy to see. Uh, but you all let us know how you feel about the Geeky Cast new video on Ant-Man, Loki Season 2, and Kang Dynasty and Kang Wars. You all let us know how you feel. All right, so before we get out of here, make sure you guys leave them a thumbs up, right? Make sure you guys leave them a like. If you're new here to the channel, make sure that you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell. That way, when we do a video just like this, you all will get it first, all right? So uh, make sure you guys are following the Geeky Cast. Uh, when he drops another video, I'll be reacting. I want to know the news. I want to talk it up. I love talking to Marvel stuff, and we're at a good time where shit's about to get really, really good and really, really crazy. So make sure you all stay in tune to the channel, all right? I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we out. Snoopers Gonna Snoop, Snoopers Gonna Snoop, Snoopers Gonna Snoop. It's not your bitch.